Congress is taking action. Social Security's $4,873 will be in banks for all SSI SSDI VA. In recent months, fixed income. Americans have struggled with rising inflation driving up the costs of food, housing, and other necessities. Those relying on Social Security and disability benefits saw their purchasing power steadily erode as their payments remained stagnant. Advocacy groups representing seniors and people with disabilities sounded the alarm about this growing crisis. Against this backdrop, welcome news arrived this week that brought significant relief. In response to inflation reaching a 40-year high, lawmakers approved a substantial boost to Social Security benefits. Starting immediately, retirement and disability recipients saw an additional $4,875 in annual funds deposited to their accounts. For the nearly 70 million Americans who depend in whole or part on Social Security income, this increase will go a long way in regaining lost ground to inflation. Those still working will welcome the higher baseline as they approach retirement. Veterans receiving compensation and supplemental security income recipients were also part of the windfall. The magnitude of this benefit hike is unprecedented, dramatically higher than the typical 1-3% to cost-of-living adjustments applied in recent years. While placing new financial demands on the Social Security system, legislators recognized the need to shield vulnerable populations from skyrocketing living costs. Advocacy efforts from AARP, disability rights groups, and others helped bring this issue to the forefront. For beneficiaries already using direct deposit, the increased payments were seamlessly added to their regular monthly deposits. Those still receiving paper checks will find the additional funds included on their next scheduled disbursement. Verifying one's mailing address and bank account information is prudent, as is switching to electronic transfers where possible. As the increase was not tied to earnings, all current Social Security recipients qualified regardless of their work or benefit histories. Those still employed but receiving reduced benefits due to earnings limits saw no change in those rules. The aim was to deliver universal and immediate aid through the existing delivery mechanisms. While very welcome, some complexity remains. Social Security income is taxable for most recipients, and this larger amount may push some into higher tax brackets. Consulting a tax advisor is recommended to understand any implications. Additionally, Medicare Part B premiums are routinely deducted from Social Security checks, though the net gain should still be sizable. Eligibility for needs-based public assistance programs like Medicaid and SNAP food stamps were purposely excluded from adjustments due to the income increase. However, it is prudent for individuals to verify their ongoing qualification with state or local benefits administrators, given varying rules. As a one-time boost, future qualification cannot be assumed. Long-term questions loom regarding Social Security solvency with this higher base payment level. The independent trustees project the combined retirement and disability trust funds could be depleted by 2035 without congressional intervention. Lawmakers have signaled their intent to address future funding through a combination of revenue and benefits formula changes down the road. For the present, though, this major benefits hike achieves the goal of protecting vulnerable Americans from high inflation. By establishing a new baseline, it also sets the stage for assessing future inflation adjustments from a higher platform. While not resolving long-term financing issues alone, it shows a willingness to safeguard the system's promise during times of economic uncertainty. The news of a substantial and universal increase to Social Security payments brings welcome relief during a challenging period. Recipients are advised to review their individual situations with Tax and Benefits Council. With further policy changes still to come, staying informed as details develop will also serve retired and disabled communities well into the future. For the tens of millions affected, it offers a new level of security and stability on which to build. While the significant boost in benefits will provide much-needed support, economic uncertainties remain that could impact Social Security's future. Persistently high inflation erodes the purchasing power of each dollar over time. If price increases continue exceeding the program's annual cost-of-living adjustments, beneficiaries may again find themselves struggling to make ends meet in the years ahead. There are also concerns about a potential recession, which often leads to lower tax revenues that fund Social Security. During past downturns, things like higher unemployment, reduced wages, and fewer payroll taxes contributed to shortfalls. While the trust funds have reserves to help offset short-term impacts, prolonged weakness could accelerate their depletion timeline. 
lawmakers will be closely watching economic indicators and their policy options. Some analysts suggest this major one-time increase may have unintended longer-term consequences on the program structure as well. Setting a permanently higher baseline for future COLAs raises the overall cost curve over the long haul. Combined with projections of fewer working-age taxpayers supporting more retirees, it puts additional financial pressure on Social Security's revenue needs further down the road. However, others counter that argument fails to consider the current crisis of inflation disproportionately harming those on fixed incomes. From that perspective, not taking robust interim action to help vulnerable populations makes the system's long-term financing issues even harder to address. There are good faith perspectives on both sides as policymakers seek to balance short and long-term priorities. An ongoing discussion centers around increasing payroll taxes to generate more funding. While controversial, this approach matches projected shortfalls and has precedent through periodic rate adjustments over the program's history. Others favor raising or eliminating the payroll tax wage base, which currently only applies to the first $147,000 of annual earnings. But there are also valid concerns higher taxes could dampen economic growth or job creation. Some experts propose gradually raising the full retirement age, currently 66. 67 for those born since 1959. Delaying benefits even a few months each year could extend solvency. However, this disproportionately impacts those in physical jobs or with lower life expectancies. There are also ideas to use a more generous price index that may better reflect typical senior spending patterns and healthcare costs. Adjusting the benefits formula through mechanisms like means testing is also debated. Currently, all recipients receive the same percentage increase regardless of need. Options to potentially reduce benefits for higher income enrollees could be crafted to avoid impacting those most reliant on the program. But adding complexity runs counter to Social Security's historic universal approach. No easy or politically palatable solutions exist, and bipartisan cooperation will be needed. Previous congressional advisory commissions offered balanced reform packages, but consensus remained elusive. With the system's trust funds depleting in the next decade or two without changes, the urgency for action is growing. The recent increase at least buys time for further evaluation and policy development. For individuals, the higher benefit level brings more financial security, yet also underlines the program's critical importance as a safety net. With one in four households relying on Social Security for at least 90% of their income, its long-term solvency impacts the nation's economic well-being. While political challenges lie ahead, safeguarding this foundational program delivers broad societal benefits across generations. If tackled cooperatively and strategically, solutions can be crafted to preserve its promise of dignity in retirement.